What's up, you guys? Okay, a lot of you have been asking how to use my creative artboards for your website designs, even if you don't have Photoshop or Illustrator. So I do include some PNGs or JPEGs, and those you can directly import into any CMS platform that you're using, whether it's Show It, Squarespace, WordPress, they are flattened PNG JPEGs. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I do it in Squarespace, lay it out as a template, and then build my elements on top of it so that I can still get those beautiful creative layouts and build it natively inside Squarespace. All right, let's go. So I'm in Squarespace right now, and if you can see, I've got a couple blank pages here so we can show you how to do this. So if you're wanting one of the images for your main header, we're gonna do that one first. We're gonna click edit. We're gonna add a blank section here. Then we're gonna hit edit section, go to background, and we're gonna upload. Let's upload number four here. If you get an error like this, don't worry. Sometimes you just need to refresh the page. It will show up. Here we go. So as you can see, the images are not quite right. They're pushed to the very top, but we can expand. Let's go into our edit mode. We can pull this section down, make the header larger so that we can see all of the elements in its full capacity. Now, because these were built in Illustrator, they're not going to be exactly matching up with the grid lines in Squarespace. It's meant to be as a template, not as an exact lineup. So as you can see, if you hit Command G, you'll be able to see the grid line, and you'll see that some of these blocks are not 100% on, but this is just to give you a guideline so that you can build on top of it. And you can even make these larger or smaller depending on the size that you want it at. Okay, so you can see I have a few blocks here. I have a darker block here, a lighter block, and a block on top. These will probably be the images on top and then either a shape and a background image behind it. That's up to you. This is where your creativity can come into play. And then originally I had these more as like logos for credentials or they could be buttons or they could be categories. So that's also up to you. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to start with the shapes and I'm gonna say add block. We're gonna go to add shape. And if you need to fill the height, now you see I've got these gaps above and below the grid line. We wanna fill this to the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to edit section and we're gonna turn off fill screen and what that's gonna do is gonna put the grid all the way to the top and the bottom of that section so that I can put these shapes all the way to the top. Now it did shrink my page again, so I gotta pull this back out <laughs> so that I can see, I can see my, my block here. So this is going to be my larger block. I'm gonna duplicate this one and we're gonna put my smaller block here. We're gonna make it align with the center line here. Then I'm going to add my text box. Now this is going to be your H1 because this is a header and your H1 goes in the very top. So we're gonna have that be a text here. We can duplicate this text box and we're gonna make the smaller text box, but this is going to be, let's say paragraph two. And then these smaller boxes, I'm gonna make these images. Oh, you know what? I didn't make that top one an image. Let's go back and make that one an image. This we're gonna duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Oops. Oh, now we need to adjust these so that they are all even, Steven. This one needs to be an image block. I messed up on that one. We're gonna go back. We're gonna create an image block with that one. So this one would be like our main image of whoever the person is that we're designing this for. And then the background, we're gonna make a color. Let's say we're gonna make a color. And then if you want the header 
to also be a color, you can change this header to be white to reflect that white bar up at the top. So if you want it to have a white bar, you can. We're gonna say edit design, go to color, and we'll say solid. And that will turn the top a solid color. And you can change the color here where it says background color, and you can change the navigation color here. Okay, so now let's take off that background image so we can see all of our elements without the template. We'll turn that off. And let's add, let's change the color because that's really bright. Let's change it to a black. And we're gonna change, this one is going to be a color. And this one is going to be an image. We're just gonna browse some stock photography. Let's get one that's facing the camera, someone who's facing the camera and smiling. We'll choose this one. Make sure and hit design fill so the image fills that box. And then if you need to adjust the focal point, you can move that focal point around. And then this is where you add that text. Oops, for some reason it went behind our picture. So we wanna move this in front of our picture and it turned into a paragraph two. So we're gonna make sure this is a H1 setting and I might move that over a little bit. Everything that is in the template of course is adjustable to your specifications. And we would say subheading goes here. But I might even bring these up a little bit. And then these would be either logos or categories, like I was saying before. Then hit save and let's exit so that we can preview what it looks like without the grid on there. There's our split design overlay. And then obviously you would have different images here. <laughs> But yeah, feel free to adjust this to your liking. I might pull this down a little bit, give it a little more space up at the top and move this over a little bit. And then maybe we would make these all either like magazines you've been featured in or podcasts you've been on or clients that you've worked with would go there. And then just hit save when you're done. Okay, let's try one more section so we get another feel for what another section would look like. Let's add another blank section. Go to edit section, background, add an image, upload. And let's add, let's add this section right here. All right, so we're gonna pull this down a little bit so that I have some white space on the bottom and that the text fits within the grid line. Um, again, make sure and turn fill screen off so that we can put our boxes all the way to the top. So if you look at the grid here, you can see that my boxes are not going to uh, be able to go off the grid here. So what I'm gonna do when I add a block, and this is gonna be an image, I'm going to just make it go all the way to the edge of the web of the browser. Then here, I'm just gonna duplicate this one and do the same thing to the bottom one. We're gonna make it stretch over. And then you can just add your text boxes. Now these will go where the grid line is. So these will be about there and if you'd like it to go in more there's centered and then I would just duplicate that text box bring that down here and then if I want to add that line we're gonna add that there and see that's not exact but it is centered within Squarespace and we have one more little highlight text box over here but this one we can make it go off all the way to the edge of the page here. And then I would just make it justified right so that it's when you type here, it's aligned to this image right here. 
And then the background image is just gonna be a solid color. So we're gonna use a shape for that. It's gonna go all the way to the top and all the way to both sides. And we're gonna send it to the back so that all the images are below it. Okay, and I'll change the color here. We'll use that red color or pink coral color. Okay, now we can delete that background image out from underneath there. And then we would just edit and add our text. And then these, you can just add a image. Let's go to just say a random stock photo image here. I hit design, make sure it fills. Same with the second one. And then make sure it fills. And we're gonna hit save and exit and let's preview what we've got here. And then you see we've got this overlapping of the image so it looks like it's overlapping two sections but really it is a shape with an image overlaid over it. Yeah, so let me know if you have any questions, if you'd like to see more. That's all. Thanks. Bye.